Uh, good morning. It's Friday, the first of April, um, first day of the ne of the next quarter, the new quarter, first day of the month, of course. Um, it's been a pretty good week. We started the week off a little bit tricky. S and P broke above resistance. There was a small stop loss triggered on that one. The euro also burst higher, and there was a small stop loss, twenty thirty pips triggered on that one. The uh, the dollar CAD actually did quite well, so that made more. Uh, I think that made more than enough profit to cover those two losses. So beginning of the week, not really anything exciting. Monday, Tuesday. But then things did liven up and we've done quite well ever since. Uh, actually, let me just get my uh, spreadsheet over here. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is the trade sheet. It's actually the trade sheet for today, but it's got most of the trades on from yesterday. Um, you've, all, you've all received it. Uh, the gold trade looking good at the moment. Well, not looking good. We're sitting at that level. We haven't managed to get above 1950. I will admit, as I've written in the report today, gold's not easy to, to trade. Uh, the Aussie dollar, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Double top sell signal. The Aussie yen, that trade uh, worked perfectly yesterday. Uh, we had a low for the day there. We've bounced straight back up to uh, 9080, I think, is where we are at the moment. Uh, 9180, I should say. So the nice profit up to 100 pips on that one. Um, the euro yen, uh, low for the day exactly at the support level. So that worked. We got about 80 pips on that trade. Um, the euro was tricky, but if you managed to get into it this time, it really worked. The market did dump, maybe 80 pips tr uh, profit on that one. Um, US dollar CAD. High for the day, bang on. I think it was 125.33. We'll have a look at that one in a minute. Uh, so about a 60 pip profit on that one. Uh, Euro, that was a that was a lovely trade. If you managed to get on that one in the morning, uh, I think we topped at something like 85.13 and then dumped straight to the uh, lower target of 85.30. So there was up to 75 or more pips in that one, 85 pips even. Um, uh, New Zealand dollar CAD, uh, high for the day, bang on that level. Also 60 pips easy profit on that trade uh, this week. The DAX and the uh, NASDAQ both topped out exactly at my targets and my resistance levels. We've got uh, 400 uh, ticks profit in the DAX and we've got 200 ticks profit in the NASDAQ, although still running that trade. So there's up to a thousand pips since sort of Tuesday, Wednesday uh, profit on those trades. Uh, nice if you're even just trading a pound a point. You maybe, maybe you've uh, put a thousand pounds in your account. If you're trading 10 pound a point, you might have 10,000 pounds in your account. Anyway. So let's just have a quick look at some of those trades. Uh, the Aussie dollar, I'm still waiting for that to come down. I think this is probably a little topping pattern and we could head down towards 7, 74.00. Euro, well, it did collapse in the end. I had, a, I had several uh, you know, uh, attempts of shorting it. I must admit, I actually got stopped out, didn't manage to get back in, got distracted yesterday, so I'm a bit frustrated with that. Missed out on this trade. I hope you got onto it. Look at this big bearish engulfing candle here. Can you see? New high yesterday. A close well below the previous low, and that was a big green candle. So this, to me, tells me we fell at the first hurdle, really. Uh, the, the Fibonacci resistance, the short-term trend line, the 50-day uh, moving average. You know, it was, it, uh, as I explained at the beginning of the week, this should be a strong resistance level. We just ran over it a little bit, and then we dumped. So the bearish engulfing candle telling me this is probably a bear flag, and we should break lower again eventually. I thought we'd already formed a bear flag and broken lower but maybe this is another one. Looks more like a flag to me now. Um, eventually, if we break below the, the lower trend line, which I think we probably will one day, 109.80, then that will be the next sell signal. Anyway, that's worked out quite well if you managed to get on the trade yesterday. Dollar CAD, uh, we had the resistance level at uh, 125, uh, 125.20 to 125.40, I think it was. Uh, yesterday, we topped out at 124. Uh, hang on, where am I? Where am I? Let me have 125.30 one, uh, to 125.50 was my sell level, and we got to 125.32. Okay, so there you go. Uh, another good trade uh, caught the uh, the exact high of the day. Uh, gold's a bit tricky. We're still trading around the um, the resistance level. I must admit, I probably would leave gold alone. It's, it's, look at this. This is just a real dodgy sideways pattern here. I can't really make head and tail of it. I, I, I've, I've sort of... Uh, Given us a resistance level of one, uh, 1935, 1940, it is holding at the moment. Well, we certainly didn't quite make it up to the uh, break the stop level of 1950. So you may still be in a short position, but I, I'm not really very interested in gold. It's just not giving me clear enough signals. Uh, Germany 40, yeah, that pulled away nicely from the res resistance level. Beautiful on that one. NASDAQ again, pulling away from the resistance level. Happy, we've made some good money on that one. Uh, the New Zealand dollar CAD, I'm not sure if I can find that trade. Where is it? Let's have a look. There we go. Uh, yeah, up to the resistance level around the 500-day moving average, actually. Uh, the high was 87.19. My sell level was 87.10 to 87.20. So again, backed away from that resistance level. Uh, 
I, I think that's that, that's a pretty good showing, really. Eight winners out of eight trades, maybe a thousand pips. Okay, I haven't changed the levels today because uh, two reasons. Firstly, there are no new levels. We're really just watching those trades work as we hit our targets. And I don't have any new trade ideas for you. I don't want us to go and blow that money, uh, the thousand pips, on a Friday before the non-farm payroll number. There won't be many opportunities before the non-farm payroll number because the markets are usually quiet before then, of course. As we wait, the traders are squaring up their positions, taking off any unnecessary risk. And then over the non-farm payroll number, I have no idea what will happen. I don't even know, I don't know what the number will be. And even if I did, I don't really know what the reaction will be. So it's not really my game for punting over non-farm payroll numbers or inflation numbers or anything else. Um, if that's what you do, fair enough. It's a gamble. Up to you if you want to take that gamble, but it's not for me. I don't want to go and ruin a Friday and blow the money that we've made. Um, any questions, comments, please do uh, throw them out at me in the comments box or um, uh, and send me a message um, and I'll be happy to help you. Otherwise, have a great weekend and we'll do this all again for Monday. I do release some of these videos later in the day after our subscribers have seen them first thing in the morning with their subscriptions. Um, if you're watching this uh, on YouTube after uh, that time and you want to have a look at our subscriptions, what we offer. If, uh, last week we made a thousand pips, or this week I should say we made a thousand pips. It's not uncommon to make a thousand pips in a week. I wouldn't say that uh, we do that every week, but certainly not uncommon. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Um, if you want to join us, then the best package really is the gold or the premium membership. If you want uh, to join me on my uh, Telegram channel for some live updates and you can talk to me during the day whenever you're stuck with a trade or you've got any trading problems. Uh, so please have a look, daytradeideas.co.u, grab a subscription, you'll get my analysis, my trade ideas, my trade sheet. Uh, first thing in the morning, the trade sheet looks a bit like this, I just showed it. Uh, yeah, there you go, there's the trade sheet. Uh, so you get what the market, you know, sell or buy orders, targets and a comment on it. Uh, so if you want to get that, then basically you want to grab yourself a uh, gold membership or a premium membership that includes all the updates on Telegram. Uh, if you need me, uh, go to the contact page and you can send me a message. Got my email address, Skype and WhatsApp number there, so I'm easily contactable. Okay. Thanks very much and good luck if you are trading the financial markets today.